Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here. Once again, we're back in Forza Horizon 5. We're redoing the showcase because one, it's so much fun, and two, I want to discuss why I believe the Bone Shaker Monster Truck will be made available to obtain in the future or by like a car perk or something in the future. Maybe there it really is and I'm bad. But uh, first, we need to start this and we need to get to the point where we can drive the truck so I can make some points. We can make a point straight away here. Uh, with, uh, you know, the version we drive against here. So the version we go up against here, uh, this is absolutely not obtainable. This one is super duper scripted. So scripted, in fact, we fly straight through it as if it's not there. In photo mode, vehicles that are there, uh, we cannot fly through. We cannot fly through our Bronco R or whatever. But we can fly straight to, uh, through this. You get an excellent view of the low poly supercharger. The wires, the engine, the headers. But yeah. Uh, it's also got no driver. <laughs> Just an empty seat. And the gauges here are all blank. Obviously, this is because during this part of the event, we would never see any of that stuff. Cool picture there, though. Uh, if we take a picture of it, nothing happens. It's as if it's not even there. Because it isn't. It's totally scripted. You can be pushed by it. You can interact with it. But it won't really know we're there. It's that scripted. It'll go on a set path. No matter if there's a train in the way. So... I've already shown this showcase off, so I'm going to go ahead and just pause recording here until we get to the point where we can drive it. Eh, couldn't win that one. I guess after the first time we do an event like this, it's not as scripted. So we're going to drive the truck now. I'm going to show you why I believe we can obtain this in the future, or at least a version of it. So let's take a look here. I've got some clips uh, from other, like, uh, showcase event vehicles that you can drive. Uh, here we take a look. This vehicle is B-Class. The other vehicles we can drive also have classes, like uh, D-Class or S1-Class. But those are specifically, like, a character's uh, items, or... They're noted as Playground Games, like the old Playground Games null car, which you can still access in this game. You can drive it there, as far as I can tell. Uh, but here we got a 693, and it's given the name 2020 Hot Wheels Monster Truck Bone Shaker. Now, everything else uh, being equal, that's a pretty standard name. You could probably look that up in, you know, some car thing in this game. We are unable to tune this. Can't do anything about it. Oh well. If we hit restart, it's kind of annoying we redo the whole event. I wish it would just redo this leg or give it the option to redo this leg. Uh, another thing is that this vehicle has proper camera mode. So you can see here, we do have proper first person camera. We have like a manual gear shifter, just like the real truck. Go into photo mode and see we are actually in there. My goofy character is for real in there. The engine this time around much more high poly because uh, it's actually something we can interact with and look at. Look, look at that. She even got. Fowler engine from Columbus, Ohio badge right there. That's cool. Really accurate, or at least really detailed. I don't know how accurate it really is to the real thing. 
with the shocks, the wires, the exhaust. It seems all there. Pretty cool. 66 inch uh, by 43 by 25. <laughs> so that's pretty accurate as well. Now, it's pretty dumb. When we're in photo mode, the clock still seems to tick down. Yeah, we have 30 seconds left when we had like a year left before. You can see the gauges, they all work now. And this game has really long re rewind here, so I'm trying to see... Uh... You know... If it'll give us back some time, because I don't want to redo the whole event. I will if I need to. Alright, so this is literally the start. Eight seconds left. Good. So yeah, that's pretty dumb there. I'm going to have to redo this event. I'll see you in another pause break. Back at it again. I actually got first place that time, so yay me. Uh, if we look at the stats, uh, if I did some like stats, uh, like grabs of the other vehicles you can drive that I can't obtain. Uh, they've got very unrealistic uh, stats, like 1,600 horsepower for a supposedly stock D-class uh, flatbed truck. I don't think so. That's some shenanigans right there. Thanks for that game. And then the float, once you upgrade that, that had 2,400 horsepower and 2,400 torque. I have no idea what motor this is. It roasts to 6,000, so it's a V8 of some flavor. Maybe it's the Monster Truck motor fully upgraded. I really don't know, but the Monster Truck motor is to 9,000. So I do not know. While wow, this thing's horsepower is pretty accurate. Like 1,500 horsepower on the dot or just below, like 1,502 maybe. So yeah, that's why I think this truck will be obtainable in the future. Uh, it's got everything animated. I uh, still can't take a picture of it. I don't know if I tried to take a picture of it uh, before, but I did. And it didn't really uh, do too great. Why did that count as an upgrade event? Uh, <laughs> you can't do anything with those vehicles, as far as I know. So, hey, maybe that's another clue that that vehicle is factory upgraded and it counts towards accolades so it's got a realistic engine it's got a realistic name it's got a realistic class it's got realistic cameras so that's why i believe the bone shaker truck i can be obtainable made obtainable or will be obtainable in the future and supposedly this is the monster truck engine <laughs> if you didn't know uh, looks like you can swap in a 540 cubic inch engine of some description with the supercharger that's what i got in this directory uh, design truck here 8.9 liter that is 540 cubic inches uh, with 1500 horsepower 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. I forget how much torque the other engine in the monster truck was making. So. Uh, the only thing... Oh. It was acting like the truck was still in gear there. That's a cool bug. <laughs> Didn't see that one yet. Imagine if we could drive it off in this state. That would have been funny. But yeah, that doesn't sound like a monster truck motor. That just sounds like a, a fast V8. So, I don't know. Oh, that is another point I wanted to make. If that is the Monster Truck engine, uh, they seem to only be giving us engine swaps for vehicles we are able to obtain. It's a 6.7 liter diesel swap. That's from the new Super Duty. Uh, the, you know, all the other big truck engines, that's because, you know, we got the 24 Mercedes-Benz truck in the game. Uh, we have the Iron Knight truck in the game, so they are able to be swapped out, you know. One idea to make it obtainable 
is to not let it be erasable. You know, it's way too big to be used online. It'll take up the whole track and everybody will hate it. Because just make it not allowed to be in races like how the Bone Shaker was in Horizon 4 as well as the Top Gear Tractor. That's an idea to make it obtainable but not raceable online. That's it for this rant video thing. I'll see you all in some future of some kind. Goodbye, everybody.